Right, so I've got both cameras rolling at the same time here because there's a reasonable bit of wind today as you can probably tell from the washing Right, so th this is to show how well the little bit of sponge on top of the camera works for wind noise Right, so I've got both cameras rolling at the same time here because there's a reasonable bit of wind today as you can probably tell from the washing Right, so this is to show how well the little bit of sponge on top of the camera works for wind noise So I'm using my phone, this one I'm moving up and down now um, Which has no sponge on the mic, the mic's at the bottom there and then, and then I'm using my camera, which has the sponge, which stops all the horrible whistling of the wind Just so you can see how well it works, it's such a cheap fix I'm using my camera, which has the sponge, which stops all the horrible whistling of the wind just so you can see how well it works with such a cheap fix Right then peeps, it's potato planting time um, I'm going to get the first earlies planted I was going to wait a few more weeks, but I've seen um, Brian Bansible doing his and I got excited, I thought I've got to do it. Uh, I'm not doing nowhere near as many as he has, but hey ho, I'm not feeling the, I'm not feeding the estate of Brian. Um, so, the first earlies we've chosen this year, well, to be honest, we only usually ever grow a main crop, but we're going whole hog this time. Uh, first earlies are foremost. Buckets we're using, we're using two 15 litre buckets and a 30 litre bucket. Um, I've got the buckets labelled up, ready. I've got one, two tables, two, two tables, and bucket three, four tables. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether we'll get more out of the two 15 litres or out of the one 30 litre, so that should be interesting. The biochar is going into bucket one and three but not into number two um, and that's it I've got me wheelbarrow full of compost ready to go um, now earlies differ from um, main crop in the sense that I just fill the bucket straight up whereas with main crop I half fill the bucket and then just keep topping up as the plant grows but with these, they're just going to get filled straight up, so we'll get cracking. Got right the labels which I'm going to have in the bio chart, so I'll mark them off before I forget. I'll written down on my tracker in anyway, so I know what's what. There's the teddies, they've got some canny chits on them, not massive, but they're all right. I'll just bring you over so you can see. So in the two 15 litre buckets, that's it. I'm just going to top them up now. But in the 30 litre bucket, if you can see, I've put the titties across the handles. So I'll put some more compost in there. 
then I'll put two titties that way and then fill it up right so we'll get that done There we go, so I just spliced it in. So now you can see I've got the two titties that way. Right, so we'll get these filled up now. Right, there we go, we'll get them watered in. And that's it later on. We'll put them in the greenhouse. Stay there for a couple of more weeks probably till it's fine to put them back out. Right, so I've decided to add a rare Robin's bird house to the garden and the difference between a Robin's bird house and so this one here. On there. If you see that that's got holes, which is what most birds want, but Robin's has like a slit instead of a round hole so I've been on the internet I've got some dimensions so we'll get the timber marked up we'll get it cut we'll get it put together all that marked up now we'll get it cut right there we go that's all the bits cut um so now i just need to get it all drilled and screwed together There we go, now we just need to figure out where we're going to put it. What do you reckon? Uh, we've already got a bird box up there, haven't we? Um, what is reckon about on the side of that shed there? Or above the rhubarb here? Hmm. I'll think about this one and come back. Yep, I think we'll go with the side of the shed. Hmm? Not bad, eh? What do you reckon? Time to move the tilly buckets into the greenhouse and put the polytunnel cover back on. Just give everything another check, let some air in there today. Still looking good. Well chuff them dahlias are coming up. So, right, let's get these moved eh? Right then folks, we'll just give you an update on how the sand is coming. So as you can see, he's got the table built. He's also got this edge as well, so that you can push your, your bit of wood up and sand it square, like so. You can also see, nice and square, nice and square, nice and square. So that's good. Um, as you can see, we've got the belts. Um, 
that's one of them there we ordered two square there as well um, it's also put the spindle on the top so that's a thinner spindle that's like a 32 mil pipe but he's also going to use this side as a bigger spindle as well um, so we'll show you that when it comes to it he's also made his pulley system on the bottom for, for how the motor is going to drive it so different size pulleys for different speeds um, let's see he's got the top on now so when he releases the tension he just pulls that and that clicks into that gap there so that's all good the track and bolts are in place as well now so that's that just give you the back view so basically what's left to be done now the main thing is to fit the motor which is going to go here somewhere and this is the motor he's going to use it's off an old chop saw it's the one he had before he got the big fella over there um, so yes so he's going to take all the bits off that he just doesn't need he's not going to use this handle because it had what's known as a dead man switch so we didn't want that so he took the, what, the buttons sorry off an old table saw that's a predecessor um, so that'll be much safer so he just needs to get the wiring sorted out for that get all this taken off that he doesn't need and get it mounted and then we'll come back and have another look but so far so good right, first couple of jobs for today I found these in Tesco's yesterday 31 pence parsley and basil so we're going to try and um, revive the basil the parsley actually looks all right so I'm just going to give them a good drink then we'll move them into the rem greenhouse for now um, I'll probably trim some of the basil off um, give the daffs a good drink and then I think because the weather's a bit iffy outside I think we'll um, get pots washed first and then if there's any time left after that we'll do some more potting on I've got a few things upstairs that um, could probably do with we pot now. In fact, we'll go up and we'll have a look. I'll show you. Right, yeah. So these tomatoes could really do with um, potting on. They look a bit leggy now, actually, which isn't good. But the cucumbers look okay. I only actually want a couple of them. They're going to be outside ones. These tomatoes and cucumbers look champion, which is the Carmen F1 and the Money Makers. So I'm happy with them. These also could do we're going in bigger pots now. Um starting to see the first sign of the um, sweet peppers coming up, but only in one pot at the minute. Chilies look good. The courgettes are flying now. Um I'll probably pop them on soon as well. No sign of any lemons. This is a post I did on the Facebook group. Um, had a goat grown a lemon tree from just shop fruit and also the avocado. I'm going to go with that. Dahlia and Livingston Daisy look okay. So, but I think it'll be this lot. But I think I'll start with this lot. They look more in need. Um, of popping on but pot wash first because it's a job I keep putting off and putting off so right there we go I've done the daffs they've had a nice drink I've given the basil a haircut if you can see the stems I've cut just above where there's new leaves where the bottom leaves are so hopefully it should grow again fine um, and the parsley, like I say, seems alright. So they've just had a good drink. That'll go in the composter and they'll go in the greenhouse in a bit. But pot washing, I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, but I'll get it done and then we'll come back. Right, there we go, that's all the pot wash now. So, what a relief. <laughs> um, so before I do any more potting on, I've decided I'm going to do some sieving. 
Um, so I'll get a pot and I'll get that done again. I'm not going to video seven because yeah, boring. But um, I, I need to give me back a rest after doing that. So right, we'll come back when I'm ready to pot on. All the pots are done. Washed, dried, put away. Thank God for that. <laughs> Finally. Um, so tomorrow is time. I've done my bit seven. I've got a bucket full of compost there. Um, not that I particularly need to do that, but for tomorrow's but hey. Um, but while I was having something to eat before I watched Nora's latest video, and she's had it, she's so clever, right? Just, you know, to test whether our tomatoes will be all right to go in a polytunnel yet, she's sacrificing one as a tester, right? Now I would have never thought of that. So well done, Nora. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to pick a strong one. I'm going to pick one that's, you know, reasonably weak in any way. We'll go this one. So this one can now live in the greenhouse. And obviously I'm not going to bother putting it on in case it dies. Uh, so it'd just be a waste. But put it in the greenhouse as a test to see if the rest of them can go out there yet. She's so clever. I don't need support it, I think, though. I've got some little sticks, I'll get that done now. There we go, support it so that can stay there. And, I mean, it's 14 degrees at the minute. So, it's okay, but it's still getting cold on the night time, that's going to be the test, whether they're going to be okay to come out here and live. So there we go. So we'll leave that one there and see what happens. Um, so right, let's go do the tomatoes now. The cerise tom's done. I did have a couple of fatalities, but they are quite leggy, so probably should have expected it. Um, so we'll get them back upstairs, we'll bring the other ones down, and we'll get them done as well. same again with the market more cucumbers but I only want to end up with two so I'll pop this tree on which has got four in it and they look to be nice big healthy ones and I'll just put them ones in the greenhouse as spares for an emergency right so I'll get them done So the other day when I was cleaning and tidying up the yarba, um, I kept a couple of bits of offcuts from my plants I've got around there. Um, see if I can grow some more. Still never managed to do a cutting yet, but I'm going to keep trying. Perseverance and all that. Um, so I've got my rooting powder, I've got my tray. Um, we'll pick a few to do. We'll put them in the greenhouse and hope for the best. 